YouTube. Today I am showing you a pomelo. It's a great big citrus if you've never seen one before. Sort of like a grapefruit, but not nearly as strong. It's a lot milder, not gonna hurt your teeth kind of citrus. So, and they've got great big seeds. So, these ones I've actually cut because when I chop the thing open, I'll pull all those out. But yeah, it's absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna try to grow some. So, there's a seed that's not chopped open. So I'll just pull out a few more of these. And this fruit the pulp, the meat of it's actually quite dry Oops. and delicious. But the skin is really, really thick. So to cut, to eat it, you basically just want to score the skin and then peel it back that inch or so. And then you can pull it apart based on the chunks, like in an orange. Like when you peel a mandarin, but huge. So. Once you get out a bunch of the seeds, I've got eight here, so that should do. Like any other citrus, to grow the seeds, you actually need to peel it out of its little skin. It's got a little jacket on it. And that just comes right off. Like that. You can see the difference between with or without its skin. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing that, and I should have eight little naked seeds. I have no idea why I'm doing this, because based on the size of the fruit, this is going to be a massive, massive tree. And I have no room to grow a tree that size inside. That's just crazy. I'll try to do it anyway. Maybe I can end up with a, a bonsai pomelo tree. <laughs> Ta-da! Handful of naked seeds. So, now I will grab some soil. I lost one. There we go. So. Eight little pomelo seeds. I'll just stick them in. You basically want to go about three times the width of the seed for pretty much any seed when you plant them. Okay, now they're gone. Water them in. And I'm going to be sticking this on the heat mat. And hopefully, in a couple of weeks, I end up with some baby pomelos. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, and if you, in case you're wondering, egg curtain, strawberry box, reusing, recycling, it's all good. Alright, so, if all goes to plan, I will see you again in a couple of weeks. Bye! Hello again! It's been about two weeks, and I have a miniature pomelo forest! Yeah, so I'm guessing basically all of them germinated. Um, this is the only one that came out with a hat. So I don't know where the rest of them put their little seed hats. And meh. So I'm going to transfer these guys into little paper pots. 
today because you can't have a forest in a strawberry container. It doesn't work. So, to make these pots, we have with a piece of paper. This is just brown, uh, what is it? Paper towel. There we go. And I have my little seed making dude. Let's have a face because he's my buddy. Okay. Put him up, put a nice pretty dress on him. Pass him all up. Put down the bottoms. And stick him in his little car in the back. And put it down and go wiggle 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 wiggle. And ta-da! Pop that off. And you're good to go. So these are great for starting for the little starts. Can't really do much with them physically. Um, once you put dirt in them, they get pretty fragile. Like these ones here. Just filled these up, so see they start to absorb the moisture. The bottoms could pop out at any time if you're not careful. So basically, once you put the plant in there, you just leave it until you're ready to transfer. By the time you're ready to transfer, it's basically just a lump of dirt. Most of the paper's gone by then. And so you just basically pick up your chunk of dirt that's fairly solid now, held together with the roots and stuff, and put it into your new pot, or into the ground, or whatever else. So, we will start working on these guys. So, to get them out, I don't want to damage them at all. Actually, it's going to scoop right near the wall here. There's maybe the soil a little bit. Where did they be? Let's see if you can see that. Right here. So, I still have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Um, army of pomelo trees, but whatever. It'll be fun anyway. Okay, cool. Come on in. Maybe I should have done this yesterday. Here it comes. root system already. And I thought him just having tiny little seed leaves, he won't have much of a roots. Eh? Look at that tap root. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna get him into a nice little pot. We will poke a hole in there. Make it around. And stick it in. And then I think we'll just add a little bit of soil on top. Just to completely bury his little seed again.
then that should do it. Hopefully most of these guys survive being transplanted. And then I'll move them up in size once I've planted out my peppers and things and I get more pots that way. Okay, so I'm going to continue working on this. There's one little pomelo tree. Uh, 11 to go here. I've got another tray of them with another 8 or so. I think that those are the ones that I did on camera. These ones I did a few days earlier. And that is all. Alright, so I'm going to continue with this and show you my little forest of pomelo trees when I'm done. Okay, see ya. Alright, I thought I'd show you something kind of interesting. Look at this little guy. He's only just got the baby leaves. Perfect taproot going straight down. There's his seed. And then, this one, a little tiny bit bigger. It's a bit of a nub of the new leaf coming out in between. There's taproot, starting to get the side shoots. So I guess that's how you know. As soon as they get a little bit bigger than this, then they start getting their big taproots. So I have a few more to do, and then I will have I will have a tropical forest, and they can live forever and ever and happily inside with my uh, coffee plant. And I will start collecting tropical trees because that is nice and fun. It makes me think I live somewhere warm. All right, bye. And there we have it: 100% germination on my little pomelo seeds that I just pulled out of a pomelo I bought at the grocery store. Hopefully they all transfer all right. And their new big buddy, Coffee. Got him maybe two months ago. He's doing really well. Hopefully I get some coffee off of him soon. That would be so cool. But yeah, not expecting to get any food off of these guys for a long, long time, if ever. But still, wouldn't it be cool to have like two dozen little pomelo trees in your house? I've got 13 here, I've got another 8 or so downstairs, still on the heat mat. And some of them are starting to germinate, so probably I'll put them into pots in a day or so. So yeah, ta-da! All done. Alright, so, growing pomelos from seed from the grocery store, it works. Um, 20 foot tall trees in your house? Sure, why not? Alright, so my name is Vicky from Wet Coast Gardens, and this is the beginning of my tropical forest. Bye bye